Hi Bubble App Creators, welcome to another Bubble Tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be using the brand new Bubble Table Element released only yesterday at the time of recording. And I'm going to be demonstrating to you how you can link through from a row to a, uh, a page about the data that's shown in that row. So in this case, with my contact, uh, my contacts table here, uh, I want to link through to a page all about Bruce Wayne. Let me demonstrate how you do that. But before I get started, did you know that we have over a hundred bubble tutorial videos, uh, many of which you cannot find on YouTube. You can only find them on our website, planetnocode.com. Head there, become a member and get full access to our video library. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. That really helps us out on YouTube. So. How do you add a link to this row? Well, it's very similar to how working with groups and working with repeating groups. Um, and uh, so we go into our table and I can just take an element and add a workflow to it. So first name, I can add a workflow and I can say uh, navigate, go to page. And then I have a page set up called contact. And I'm gonna show you how that works. Uh, because you need to do something on this page in order to be able to send the data through. So if I go to my contact page, you can see that all I'm going to do is print the contact's name in this group, but I've got the type of content for the page set to my data type contacts. And this means that when I uh, use a go to page action in, in a workflow, uh, it has to include the contact. It's saying that this page is expecting to receive a contact in order for it to run properly. So if I go back to my uh, table page and then my workflow, you can see that that is reflected in the fact that send data has to have a value, otherwise you get an issue. So I can give the send data current rows contact. Let's hit preview. So if I now click on Bruce Wayne, uh, remember I've made the text label not the whole row, so you would need to perhaps use groups or add additional workflows in other places uh, to get the whole row to work. But for me, clicking the text label, uh, I can click Bruce and it takes me through to Bruce Wayne's page. So there you have it. That is how to add a link through to a page all about an item in uh, the table with the table element. So linking through from an, a table element displaying a list of items in your database to linking through to a page where you display one item from that list. 